On my last trip to visit family in Vermont, I left Spokane early in the morning and I had first class flights so I thought I would do some reviewing. I did not get pictures on that flight, but I did land in Minneapolis and was able to do a little bit of flight reviews of the first class cabins that I traveled in on this flight. I went from Spokane to Hartford, Connecticut with the connection through Minneapolis both ways and I was fortunate enough to have upgrade certificates through Delta, so I used them to get into first class. I didn't take any footage of that first seat setup, but I did make a note that the tray table was really grimy, which I always wipe that down with wipes when I sit down, but inside of it was pretty bad. And it was a 5.15 a.m. flight, and they gave out a snack box, which I thought was interesting and I actually made notes. It was five in the morning and we got Oreos, crackers, gummy bears, almonds, potato chips, cheese bread and a meat stick, which I thought was a little bit strange for that time of day, but um, also if you're not into carbs, good luck, bring your own food. Um, so that was the first class on the way to Minneapolis. And then on the way out of Minneapolis, I did stop into um, one of their Sky Clubs for a regular breakfast, which I did a review of that, and you can see that at the link above, and left Minneapolis on uh, a, a 737, I believe, it's 737-800 with Delta to Hartford. Um, the one thing I did notice on that particular flight in first class, there were none of the little um, wing back, little flip out headrests, which I love on Delta flights. I love to do use those little headrests and take a nap. And they did not have those on the 737. Although going forward in 2024 and 2025, Delta is upgrading and retrofitting their 737 fleet with new seats and entertainment systems and restrooms. So I'll be excited to see those in the future. I also never do any um, reviews of the restrooms on the flights. Um, basically, if you've seen one airplane bathroom, you've seen them all. Another thing that I love is if your Delta First Class flight is longer than two hours, I believe, you will get an emailed link to their online menu where you can pre-select your meal for the flight. Definitely don't skip doing that. I chose the chicken salad. This was a day flight and it was just a perfect little lunch to get me by until we landed. Not a bad deal at all. But if you don't choose your meal, you will be left at the mercy of whatever they have left and it may not be something you like. And um, enjoyed the flight immensely. I always am just excited to be in first class. I've actually never had a bad flight with Delta. I've never had a bad experience with them, I don't think. Like, I've always had great flight crews. I know people will disagree with this, but I've always just had the best luck with Delta and their staff. And I love, I just love being in the air. I always appreciate being on a plane in general. We're usually in coach, so I really appreciate being in first class. And I love the meals. I, <laughs> I know it's not a five-star restaurant, but I'm always just appreciative and enthralled at the fact that I'm in the sky in this lovely seat with dedicated staff and real napkins and real plates and hot food what like it just feels like the biggest treat even though it's you know it might not be the best meal so here is a little peek at the arm rest and the tray table on this particular flight as you can see definitely not super clean but i do always bring wipes so i end up wiping the whole no matter what seat i'm in on a plane i always wipe everything i'm going to touch i basically wipe it um, I know they say they clean them before you get on, but I just like to double check and wipe everything I'm going to touch when I'm on a plane. We landed in Hartford and I was able to get a rental car and drive myself on to Vermont for a nice weekend to see some of my family from all over the world. And then on the way back, I had the same flight arrangement. I had a 737 on the way back to Minneapolis and then an A321 on the way home to Spokane. And on the way back through Minneapolis, I was able to stop into the other Delta Sky Club, which was the newest one. I think at the time of this video, Minneapolis St. Paul Airport has three Delta Sky Clubs. So I was able to check out two of them and they are in that link in the little card that was posted earlier. The other thing I always skip reviewing on these flights is the seat back entertainment. I never ever watch TV on a plane. I'm more of a book girl, so, but you know, if you've been on a plane, you know how those work. And on the A321, first class did have the little wing back fold out headrests, which I'm always excited about. But I thought I would just do a little bit of snooping around because again, I'm usually in coach. And so it always just feels like a treat to be in the front of the plane. And um, I, I guess if you haven't been up front much, uh, there the seats are wider. I wouldn't say they have a lot more padding, but they do have a lot more legroom and extra recline. And I love the dedicated overhead storage for each seat. So you do not have to worry about your carry-on luggage not being directly above you. And the thing I love the most, I, I'm sure everyone does, but I love that there is a, the middle armrest. You have 
like a double width giant middle console armrest. So you and the person next to you do not bump arms ever. You're not in each other's space at all. You can, you know, put your arm on the armrest and not feel like you're hogging it or you're not getting bumped off of it by the person next to you. So, and I love the window. So I always get a window seat because I love to gawk out the window on any flight. Although on one of our recent trips that I have not talked about yet, I got aisle seats the whole way and I'm a little bit team aisle seat now because you can hop up anytime you want and you don't have to ask anyone to let you out. On this flight, I ordered the braised beef short ribs. I've actually had this more than once on a Delta flight and not gonna lie, I kind of love it. And don't forget to order ahead because the people who didn't were left with cold shrimp salad at on a late dinner flight. And then on the way back on the Spokane flight, we just had a snack box and I had a lovely fun staff on this particular flight. The, the uh, cabin steward made me a lovely drink and then we went on into Spokane on the A321. If you'd like to see, I have other reviews. I've been one time each on Delta One and Delta Premium Select. Both were a huge, huge treat. Um, both of them are actually the first videos I ever did on YouTube, so please excuse the um, whatever awkwardness will ensue, but they were a huge treat for me. You can go check those out at the links above. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.